Are you having trouble sending text messages or SMS on your Samsung Galaxy device? Don't worry, we've got you covered. In this video, we'll show you how to fix texting issues on your Galaxy A14. Firstly, you need to check the signal. When it comes to text messaging, having a good reception is always a requirement. So, take a look at the status bar of your phone to see if the signal indicator shows that you have an excellent reception. If you're only getting a couple of bars or less, then that might be the reason why SMS isn't sent. We also suggest you enable the airplane mode for a few seconds. To do that, swipe down from the top of the screen and tap its icon. After a few seconds, tap on it again to disable it back. Your phone will then reconnect to the network and all wireless services. If your phone shows it has an excellent reception but the problem persists, then what you need to do next is to restart your phone. Doing so will refresh the memory of your device as well as reload all the services which includes the network services that might have some issues. To do so, pull down the quick settings panel and then tap the power icon. When the power options show, tap restart and then tap restart one more time to confirm. After that, try sending a text message to your own number to see if you can receive it. The next thing you need to do if the problem persists is to reset the network settings. Such a procedure will reset all the wireless services back to their default values and most of the time, it would be enough to fix a problem like this. To do that, pull up the app drawer and tap settings. Scroll all the way down and tap general management. Tap reset and then select reset network settings. Tap reset settings and enter your security lock to proceed. Now tap reset to finally reset the network settings of your phone. It will take just a few seconds to finish it, and after that, try to see if the problem is fixed. After the network reset, and your Galaxy A14 is still not able to send SMS messages, you have to call your service provider as it can be due to an account-related problem. Your provider should be able to help you more with this problem or at least give you more information as to why this is happening. We hope this troubleshooting guide can help you. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to support us. Thanks for watching.